Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we are doing another object competition with Neptune's Moon Triton. Now this is one I've been actually wanting to do for quite a while but I've just had other ones that I put in front of it. But yeah I've been wanting to do a Triton competition for, for quite a while like probably like since the last five episodes I just haven't got around to um, pulling it in but anyways yeah today I'm finally doing it and yeah the reason I want to do Triton as well is because in the game, there is no custom surface texture for Triton, so I, I want them to add one. Um, but it's, it's kind of annoying they haven't, but yeah, I really want them to add them. But yeah, we're going to be doing a competition to see what you guys can come up with for a custom Triton. So we're going to be going by um, which one looks the best compared to like the real one um, like, and stuff like that. But yeah, here is my one to begin with. So this is one I've had for. I've probably had this since I've before I started making videos. That is how long I have had this guy for. It is really really old by now and we actually have a uh, spooky neptune over there as well but um, yeah here is mine so um if we go into flashlight mode get a full look around it's basic sort of colors not really anything extreme but yeah i like all the cracks and stuff in it i think it does look pretty good for a triton so yeah that is my example of a triton but now let's see what you guys have got so if i search triton there yeah, we've got quite a lot today as well so a massive thank you to everyone who's um taken part as well because we got a ton of them to get around so first of all we'll go ahead and spawn the regular one in so it's basically just a random object there's no specific set design for it as you can see here so yeah they're all they're all useless and irrelevant i mean that one looks like a sedna like that's not right so yeah there's mine it's a little smaller than it should be as well all right so first off we'll start with gigaman since it's at the start of the list here so let's go ahead and place it right there so there is his Ooh, i'm liking that so he's going with like one of the really dark colored atmospheres on it with like a greyish white surface with white um frozen there's frozen ice on here let's have a look yep there is nice i like that i think the atmosphere that does look pretty good i have to say that i like i almost like that more than mine i have to say that i'm not sure do i like it more than mine huh i'd have to think about that that is a good competitor for my own one as well i, I really do like that all right so moving on let's go to mark's one now so let's go ahead and place it in so he's gone with a similar sort of color one to mine more of a whitish bright color and he's also got like a um darker sort of very 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 pale grayish yellow on it as well which gives us that liking this as well oh this is gonna be a really hard one i think <laughs> can already tell so yeah he's going with a white one and also speak going back to my one my one also has an optional atmosphere to add to it which can make it have this sort of color it used to be purple but i think something happened to it it was a it was a uh, one of those random swarm purples um i should probably try and get that back but um yeah, there is that. Next up, we've got um, Anomalous is one. And jeez, that is a big one. Okay, that's not particularly... Right, and he's gone for a colonized one. Okay, interesting choice to do a colonized one. But let's make it smaller to begin with. That's way too big. So, there we go. Now it'll fit in with the other ones. So, yeah, a colonized one, though. Pretty interesting choice. I mean, we are going for one that looks um, fairly realistic here. So, does this match the criteria? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But either way, it is nice to show off um, a colonized looking one, which does look pretty cool. Also, with a white atmosphere, because I know he likes to roll off those white atmospheres. And then below, we have a green and, yeah, green and all green surface underneath with some city lights as well. So, there is his one. All right, next up we've got Triton from the user Rain Clouds in my server. So they're going, ooh, look at this. His is very similar to mine. Look at that. Let's get a comparison with them. Look at that. They are very close. Wow. Is that the same texture as well? Wait, hang on. Oh, it is. He's literally got it. Look at that. It's the same texture. Look how similar they are. If I, so if I remove the atmosphere on this, is it literally the same? Oh, look at that. He has made it. Is this a coincidence or has he seen it before? I mean, to, compared to mine, that is pretty much spot on. Look at that. He has literally made an exact replica. Let's uh, rotate it the right way so we can literally see it the same. But yeah, look at that. That's pretty much the same. He's literally made the same thing almost. That is cool. Wow, very, very nice. So let's add that atmosphere back. So yeah, his atmosphere color. Definitely better than the one I have on mine. But yeah, really, really cool um, ones we've got so far. All right, so now we're moving on to the Lord 12221. So there we go. So let's see his one. So he's gone with more of a grayish color on his as well. Is that frozen? I think that's... Yep, that's that's water on it as well. So looking good. So it is there. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. a lot of these are really, really good. I'm, I'm liking all of them. Um, next up, we've got Cho Lewis's one. So let's go ahead and place that in his. So he's gone with a blue atmosphere. Okay, a light, light blue. Hmm, maybe, does blue work for a Triton? I have to think that over. Um, so there is that. And then he's also got one to um, he wanted to show as well, which isn't part of the competition. So he also has this one. So let's just put it underneath, actually, like that. But yeah, he's also got um, 
This one he wanted to show as well. So this is a blue, um, like a dark, dark, sort of pale blue one. Is it similar to this one underneath? Oh, so it's, it looks pretty much, it's pretty, it's pretty similar in colour choice underneath, as you can see there. So there we go. So that's just one he wanted to show off. So that's not part of the competition, but yeah, there it is there. So let's go ahead and remove that. Right, so he's gone, yeah, blue and white sort of colour themes. You can see a lot of people are getting like the blues, the whites, the greys sort of colours in here. So that's pretty cool. Right, and then next up we've got Mr. Mislos one. So let's go ahead and place that in here. So he's gone with a yellow, uh, yellow colour. Huh, interesting. It almost reminds me of Io. Also going for white atmosphere as well. But yeah, yellow Triton. I mean, I'm pretty sure the real one doesn't have Triton on it, man. <laughs> but yeah, there it is um, nonetheless. So yeah, yellow. That's a very interesting colour choice for a Triton, I have to say there. So, there is that. All right, next up we've got Blue's one. So, there we go. Let's see what he has got. So, he's gone with a pale green atmosphere. We're getting a variety of atmosphere colours in this. Check it out. So, uh, pale, pale green with it. He's also got some frozen water um, by the looks of it. Yeah, I'm liking the use of um, ice on a lot of these. That's a nice little addition. Because, obviously, this object does shoot up like geysers and stuff. It does shoot material out into space. So, yeah, pretty cool to have those little bits of water in there as well. So, there we go. And then we got Zane B's one, which is absolutely enormous. So let's go ahead and place that in and then make it smaller. So that is his one. Also, um, similar sort of colour theme to my one over here. And then um, this one as well. So let's make it 1,000. There we go. That's better. So yeah, very um, similar colour choices as well. As we can see, they are. If we look at the colour options here, they are. They're almost the same. I mean, look at that. They, they literally are literally so identical in colours, mine and his one here. So he's got a white atmosphere on his as well. Let's look at it underneath. So yeah, there we go there. So that is his Triton. His his um, light magenta purple is quite visible though is what I will say about that. Because if you compare it to mine, mine is a lot more of a pale colour. His looks more of a vibrant sort of colour. So yeah, there is that. Okay, so is that all of them now? We've got a massive list. And yeah, that is all of them. So yeah, we've got a very um, interesting list of uh, Tritons here. I've, I've, I've been really looking forward to doing this um, this one. Um, like I said, this one is really, really cool. And there's a, all of these are very unique in each of their own ways. Obviously, we've got a green atmosphere on here. We've got a yellow surface theme, white atmosphere. We've got a blue atmosphere. We've got an all-frozen world here. Then we have the fully colonized one. Um, maybe a bit out of place compared to all the other ones. Then we have like an all white one, which is looking really, really. That is a that is a strong contender. I can say straight away. But also this one as well. I really do like that. I do like that. Uh, then we have obviously my one. I just still like that a lot. And then we have these two here, which are very, very close to mine. I mean, look, they look very. If you look from far away, they are very, very similar. So yeah, and even and remember this one has exactly the same surface texture on it. Like. Hey, uh, that one is pretty much spot on for my own one. So I guess if you were trying to go for, if, or if this was a competition to see who could get the closest to mine, that would win 100% there. And then we have um, this one at the end, also with um, similar colours to mine, but the magenta is quite bright in colour, which mm, I'm not sure about that one. So yeah, there we go. So hmm, so it's th these two here, if I just quickly go to Gigaman's and then Mark's one, these two are looking really, really cool. I have to get an image of the real deal up as well, just to see which one would match the um, the real one as well. So yeah, those two I'm liking a lot so far. I really do like how like pale the colours are on this. Cause obviously, the, I'm pretty sure the real one is pretty pale in colour as well. Actually, I'll get an image up at, um, of it up right now because I, I want to make it or I want to pick the winner, which is the one closest to the real one, because that is sort of the target for a Triton competition is to see who can make the best looking one until they add a custom texture, which I, I really hope they too add a custom texture for it because it needs one it's, it's probably the only sort of major moon left in the solar system maybe apart from some of the uranus moons but they're, they're pretty boring but yeah it's, it's the only moon around neptune that really has any significance and yes yeah, pretty well known major moon i'd say as well and yeah this this definitely needs a custom texture for it so i've got a real image of it up here as well and we don't actually have the whole thing mapped out either we only have one side of it mapped out i believe but yeah looking at the images here it is a purplish white color so um, these three here also, um, well, my one as well, I'd say my one matches the colours the best, if I might say so myself, but yeah, my one has that light sort of, light purple, it, that could be improved to be a little lighter though, it's not completely spot on, but yeah, Triton does have a sort of light, I don't really have to describe the colour, but if you look at an image of it, you can see, sort of see like, very, very pale purples in it, but yeah, most of it is like a white, greyish colour, so these two are still, um, pretty good as well, but yeah, thing with this one, I will say it is, 
The atmosphere colour doesn't really bother me, but the surface is maybe a little too grey. If we were to do a quick edit to it, like that, that would probably improve it in my eyes. And then obviously if we look underneath the atmosphere, that's what it truly looks like as well. So, yeah, the atmosphere does sort of give it that sort of um, tint, almost. Let me go ahead and spawn it in again, because um, I think I've messed it up a bit. So that, that's what it looks like properly. So, there we go. But if we look, like, look at it underneath the atmosphere it has on it, that's what it actually looks like. So... There it is there, so it's still got the frozen ice lakes, but yeah, it does have a lot of, maybe a little too much of a darker colour on it, because if you look at the real Minship Trice, I'm looking at a 3D, or not 3D model, a spinning model of it right now, and yeah, Triton doesn't have areas like this colour here, this really dark sort of colour. It doesn't, it doesn't match the real one entirely, but this one on the other hand, that one is matching the real deal, probably the best out of all these, I want to say. So if you if you um, guys pause the video, get a, get an actual image of Triton up. If you look at that compared to this, and then compared to all of the other ones, I'd say this one and my one are probably the two that match it the most. I oh, know my one's not part of the competition, so yeah, that's automatically um, disqualified anyway. But yeah, I'd say this one would be out mine as a custom Triton. I want to say so. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna roll with that. Well, congrats, Mark. I think I think you've um, really done it with this one. I think that looks really, really good. The white atmosphere, obviously, that's optional. You can always switch that on and off if you don't like it. But I think the white atmosphere adds a little extra to it as well. But, yeah, that is my um, pick for Triton. Because, and if I, I'm also looking at the um, Triton right now, and it does have a very, very light greenish area to it. And he's sort of done that with this section here. You can sort of see that is a. If we go to this color here, it is sort of like a. It's more of a yellow, but it's like a light pale sort of. Olive, like a light olive yellowy green sort of color and the real triton does have patches of area which are relating to this color so he is really um looks like he's really looked hard into getting the colors um correct so yeah that will be my winner for today i think but yeah i just gotta say all of these are very view very unique in their own way and, I'm, and obviously a massive thanks to everyone for sending these in because obviously this is the most we've ever had in a competition i think um don't think we've how many have we got here we've got a uh, four five six seven eight nine wow oh, oh. wow we've got ten well including mice so we've got nine but yeah we've got nine or ten different versions of triton here that is really cool i think that's the most we've ever had so yeah just a massive thank you for everyone sending in an object to participate in this i think this is the biggest competition we've had ever so yeah just a massive massive thank you and i've got to say all of these have done a pretty good job all in their own way i, I like the aussie with this one i do like the frozen water on it i do think it is good but i think the colors the cert the actual surface colors especially this one here that is what lets it down in my eyes now don't take that as um hate that take it as constructive criticism because yeah with all it with with a slight upgrade all of these could do be really good but going to this one though <laughs> the yellow one yellow triton doesn't have any yellow on it so yeah and then the same with this one it's not a colonized object i know it's cool and all having a colonized triton with obviously the city lights and the surface and the white clouds but doesn't match the real one and that's what we're aiming for here so yeah i'm sure you guys will understand um if not then um yeah okay <laughs> but yeah um really really cool nonetheless for all of these so yeah but yeah this one for me it's still that one matches the realest one or the the real one the most for me so yeah let me know which one do you think um has one let me know in the live chat i don't know if i'll be around to see the live chat when it goes up but um yeah let me know in the comments as well which one of these do you think is the best so yeah, let's quickly get a list off of them all again so you'll see this was gigaman's mark was this one which is our winner then we had anonymous's one which was the colonized one then we had rain clouds which was the one that was a replica to mine then we had lord 12221 which was this one here the fro the one with a lot of frozen water on it then we had show lewis's one then we had um, his other fake one. Actually, no, never mind. That one's not in the competition. Then we had Mr. Mislot's crazy yellow one. Very, very crazy. Then we had Blue's green atmosphered one. And then we, lastly, we had Zane B's one, which also matched mine and rain cloud sort of color scheme. So, yeah, which one of these do you think is the best out of them all, guys? Because I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this. Because this, um, this is an interesting one. I, I really I really thought this was a pretty interesting one. So, yeah, let me know um, which one you think is the best down below. So, um, yeah, I'll definitely check the comments on these because, yeah, these ones are... These ones, these are probably the most uh, like, important videos every week. They're the only ones that get premiered because I don't want anyone skipping to the end because that's just naughty. You've got to watch through it if you're trying to s sneak to the end to see who wins if you are one of the people who made objects. So, yeah, there is that. But, um, yeah, really, really cool, ob um, really cool objects overall, though, everyone. Massive, massive thank you for everyone who's sent them in as well because we've got a ton this week. So, yeah, massive massive thank you and i believe the next one will be gleaser 581c 
which is a hot, like a hot Neptune, a hot ice giant sort of object. Uh, let me just quickly read. Um, I can't remember which Gleaser object it was entirely. It was Gleaser 436B. That's what we're doing next. So if you want to take part in that, make sure to either join my Discord server and then upload the object in the Pacific upload chat for it or just send me a link to the Steam Workshop in the comments or just tell me to search it on the comments so I can go ahead and find it on the Workshop if you want to upload it there. But trust me, it's much easier uploading it to my Discord because if it's in the comments, I may miss it. I may or may not miss it. So... It's not 100% chance I will see it, so just keep that in mind if you are sending it in the comments. Um, but yeah, Gleaser 436B, that's what we're doing next. So it's a, it'll be a, it'll be a gas giant, so it'll be, that'll be an interesting one. We haven't done a gas giant in a while. But yeah, anyways, also a massive thanks to everyone again for sending all of these cool tritons today. And also a massive thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed. That's, we're almost at 6,400 now. I mean, then I can't keep track of the number anymore. So just a massive, massive thank you to everyone. It's absolutely amazing. And also, let's see if we can go for 50 likes on this competition video today, guys. And yeah, if you've got any ideas for future competitions, let me know on my Discord or on this um, comments or this video's comments as well, guys. And yeah, that is about everything. So make sure you all have a great day. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.